There's a climate summit going on over in Dubai. Have you guys been watching any of this? I'm oh, riveted yes. by it. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and let me guess, they're all flying uh, commercial and conserving as much green energy as possible. Do I have it right? Mm, you nailed it, as usual. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> but, well, so the hypocrites they can get are together again, planes, too. Yeah. I, now, first, they have to get the planes unfrozen from the tarmac. When that happens, which did happen in Germany, private plane frozen to the tarmac, so they couldn't go to COP28, the climate conference. Um, you know, when that's going on, they get they get to be uh, hypocrites and they can fly over there. I mean, do we have we all there were these same people were telling us we had to stay inside and, and educate our five year olds through Zoom. They can't do a climate conference through Zoom. I don't why I do they all have to be in Dubai right. for this. They do this every year. But I'll tell you, that wasn't the biggest news coming out of the climate change situation. Um, we saw in the New York Post the other day this exclusive where there's a real question about John Kerry, our climate czar. Um, fighting against the greenhouse gases left a little of his own. Now, I, 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 I ask you, you're the perfect guest for this. I'm sorry, but Debbie Murphy really wanted to get this story on. Was this or was this not an incident involving some gas in the middle of John Kerry's remarks? Take a listen. More coal-fired power plants permitted anywhere in the world. I find myself getting more and more militant because I do not understand how adults who are in position of responsibility can be avoiding responsibility for taking away those things that are killing people on a daily basis. And, and the reality is that um, the climate crisis and the health crisis are one and the same. <laughs> Dave? Did you hear? Did you need to hear it again? They've isolated it. Here, we'll play it. Just the isolated part. Can be avoiding responsibility for taking away those things that are killing people on a daily basis. <laughs> and and the reality is that. <laughs> okay. it, Megan, you're, you're you killing think? me. But last, no, last time it was Judge Erdogan or whatever his name is naked that you made us look at. <laughs> now you're making us listen to John Kerry pass gas. It's a very I mean, classy I show, say, Marcus. All right, very classy. I know. Mm -hmm. I will say it is probably the smartest thing that I've ever heard from him. I and mean, it's a lot wiser than his words. Um, no, it's it's unbelievable. This guy, it, it, you know, substantively, he says, well, what we have to do is we have to stop. Um, we have to stop digging for coal right now. All of it. Like, no, no more, no more coal. I live in a place called West Virginia. I would invite John Kerry to come here to West Virginia and explain to the good people uh, who's whole state economy is based on coal. Oh, you don't get to do that anymore. What's John think we're going to do here? I, I mean, it, it's it's complete and utter lunacy. And and these frauds run all over the world, as you say, in their private jets. And they say, well, you know, you have to make sacrifices, put on a sweater. Let's like, screw you, John. I know. Right. He's not going to have to suck anything up as he flies in his private jet at his Tony home in Massachusetts. Still, he'll be fine. He can he can be just a, as much of a windbag out of both ways as he wants. He's not <laughs> going to suffer the consequences of the policies he's trying to shove down the throats of the West Virginians. Uh, very, very true. Although I don't, I don't know if Dave and I need to form a union here, but why are we the perfect guests to talk about John Kerry's fart? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't know. It's I Debbie feel like... Murphy's fault. It's not my fault. Debbie Murphy said that. I thought she so was I... referring to you, Stu, but <laughs> I, I... <laughs> she went to I you do first, she Dave. Tells me. That's true. <laughs> Negative dings on credit reports happen to all sorts of people from all socioeconomic backgrounds. Understanding the credit landscape can be extremely tough, and spending the time to dispute and repair these so-called dings can be a full-time job. Good luck to you if you already have one of those and children or anything else going on. For starters, you have to deal with three separate credit bureaus. It's a massive headache. It's also a common misconception that people with poor credit scores are just those who don't pay their credit card bills. No, these can be very hardworking people who are negatively affected by divorce, identity theft, medical debt, student loans, what have you. And they just don't have time or, you know, to fix it or they're too overwhelmed by the process. But if you don't address negative credit items, they can haunt you for years to come and when it counts the most, like getting a mortgage at a competitive rate. The good news is that our sponsor, Lexington Law, wants to help. Go to LexingtonLaw.com and start today with a free consultation and review. Tell them Megan sent you at LexingtonLaw.com. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.